In this episode, we are going to be covering a list for October CMS. This is one more functionality that we just skimmed over while we were creating our site. Uh, but in this episode, we are going to go into more detail about it. So the lists are when you go to your backend and click on movies, you just get the list of your movies. Uh, as I said, we already created our lists, but we just did the basic stuff. So maybe right here you want to have a genre of the movie displayed or maybe even uh, you want to have a poster of the movie displayed. So we are going to be covering all of that in this tutorial. Most of the things that we are going to be doing in this tutorial will come from the Builder plugin. Uh, but I just want to repeat something. So when you use Builder plugin, uh, I already said this before, but just want to repeat it so that you get a good understanding of it. Uh, when you use Builder plugin, uh, what October actually does, uh, uh, it mostly creates just configuration files uh, that uh, you would, uh, without it, have to create it by hand. So you have this documentation for lists on the October's CMS site in the documentation. And now, as you can see, this is all full of uh, some code and something like that. Most of the stuff, as I said, we will be doing through the Builder plugin. Now, the Builder plugin just creates those files for you and just uh, modifies those files that they would reflect the configuration that you did with the Builder plugin. So let's just uh, test it out. If we go to our backend and go to Builder, we choose our plugin, so movies. And now if I go to models and uh, check out our list for the movie, we can see that we have field is name and the label is name. So if I go to my uh, code editor and go to plugins, watch, learn movies. And if you go to models and then movie, you will see this columns that YML file and as you can see that's that file right here you can change the name of it if you want but if we click to the columns YML you can see name uh, label is name type is text search searchable is true and so on just like we did right here so if I change the label to be movie name save it and then if we go right here, you can see that now it's called movie name. So what Builder actually does is just creates those files for you and then modifies them uh, when you do something right here. You can, of course, just go to this file and write everything by hand. Nothing wrong with that. So in this tab, I'm going to have opened this columns YML file. And in this tab, I'm just going to have a movie list so that we can uh, see what changes are happening. So let's say, for example, that you want to display poster for the movie right in this list. So how would you do that? Uh, well, you would go right here. Uh, you can add a column and call that column poster. So that's the field name that we have for our poster. Okay. Now you would add a label. Okay. And the type would be partial in this case, because we don't have type of image or something like that. Uh, the type is going to be partial. And uh, what we need to do right now is set the path of that partial. So the path would be something like, so first of all, this squiggly line. I'm going to make uh, this a um, bit bigger so that you can see. So the squiggly line, uh, that's, that represents the root of your site. So then you would go to plugins. Uh, then you would go to watch, learn. Movies. Models. Uh, movie. So that's the name of our model. And then you would define a partial for it. So in our case, it can be poster column.htm. And that's it. Now, if we save this and uh, go to the movies, refresh it, we will of course get an error because that partial doesn't exist. So 
we called it poster column.htm. Now I'm just going to go to movie. So we said that that partial lives in watch learn movies models movie and right here I'm going to create that file so poster column.htm. Okay. So now we have that. Now if you check out the documentation for partials, you can see that you can use some of the variables in partials. So value is the default cell value, record is the model. So let's let's just try it out. So I'm going to go right here and do this. So let's try just to display the value of the poster. Okay, now if we refresh this, you would get nothing because we actually, do, uh, but as you can see, we have this field right here because we don't have any images right here. So let's just click on the movie and add an image. So I'm going to add this image right here. Save and close. Now, as you can see, we get the value of that poster. So this is the poster uh, field and you have the ID, the disk name, file name. So this is actually a model that comes with uh, October CMS for saving images. Now, what you could do right here is get this path. So we would just go right here and do path, save it, refresh the page. And now you would get the path to your image. So you can do something like, so image source is equal to that path, save it. And if we go right here, you would get this very, very large image, which of course you don't want. You could maybe do something like width and height right here and make the image the size that you want, but that's not a good option because it will uh, load that big image anyway. So the better thing for you would actually be to do something like get thumb. And now October is going to create a thumbnail for us that is going to be displayed right there. So I'm going to set my thumbnail to be 80 by 80 pixels and it's also going to be cropped. Okay, save this. If we go right here, refresh this page right now, you would get uh, this error. And now this error is happening because our first movie does have an image, but the other movies don't. So it's uh, going through a for each loop and then it comes to the first movie, creates the thumbnail for it, that's okay. When it comes to the second movie, it sees that there actually isn't any um, uh, images right there. Uh, so you get this call to a member function null error. So what we need to do is create an if condition. So if now the record, so that's our model, which is poster. If the record has a poster, actually uh, not our model poster, but our, uh, actually not our uh, poster model, but our movie model. So that's the record right here. So record, so if record has poster, then you would do this. And that's it. So if uh, your movie has a poster, it will do, it will display this image. Uh, if it doesn't, it won't do anything. So we just save this, refresh it now. And now, as you can see, we get that poster right here. One more thing I forgot to show you about lists, at least I think I did, is uh, this icon right here. So if you click on it, you can get uh, the fields that will be displayed in this list. So if you, for example, want to uh, disable the year, you would just do this and now the year is gone. Also, if you want to edit, just do this and now the year is here. Okay, so let's do something else. Now, uh, let's try to add some genres to our, uh, to our movie list. If I go right here, 
as you can see we don't have any genres so I'm just going to go here and create some comedy and uh, drama okay now we go to our movies go to this one and uh, add action and comedy so this is an action comedy now we want to display those genres right here so to do that if we go to our database and go to movies genres actually not to movies genres but just to movies you will see that we don't have any genres in our movies so we have to get them some roundabout way so if we go to models and columns uh, we can use something called relation so we just add this call this genres the label is going to be genres and uh, we will select this to be just text maybe make it searchable and then you have to define your relation so if you go to your code editor and go to movie.php so models movie.php you will see that uh, movies already have a relationship with genres and it belongs to many relationship so that's why we can just add relation right here uh, just as the same name as we have in this uh, in this file so we will just write genres okay let's try to save this and see what will happen now as you can see because we already touched this genres don't display so just click right here and say that you want to display the genres and as you can see you get the id the genre title uh, slug pivot table and so on so you have to have some way to actually just get this genre title so to do that we will just go right here and in this select column we will write genre title save it refresh it and now you you would have these genres action and comedy so that's the way you would use the relationships for your post let's try another thing so let's go right here to the actress and as you can see we have a name and last name so let's say that we want to display a uh, name and last name uh, in one column we don't have we don't want to have two columns for name and last name we just want to have one column so how would you do that so first of all we are going to go not to our columns.yml for movies but to the our columns yml for actors and now uh, i'm going to uh, delete this last name column so we just delete it uh, we set the type to be text but right here in select we can use some sql queries uh, to display stuff on our page so i can use concat right here and then we use the uh, name of the name field which is name and then i will do this so that we have a space between name and last name and then we do uh, the name of the field for the last name which is just last name save this and now if we go to our list refresh it we, we, we will see the name and the last name displayed in just one field so as I said if you read through the documentation you can use any uh, allows to create a column using a custom select statement any valid SQL select statement works here so you can use uh, whatever select statements you want for this uh, SQL query so this has been it for this video uh, I hope we covered the examples that you would actually use on your uh, websites like displaying images in your lists or displaying relationships 
But for this episode, this is it. Of course, we didn't cover absolutely everything you need to know about list. For that, you have this documentation page, so you can check it out and see what else you can do with the lists. In the next episode, I'm going to be covering uh, filters, which is tied to the list. So I'm going to show you how you can create filters for your list. If you want to ask me questions in the meantime, you can use Facebook, Twitter, GitHub, my website for that. Uh, remember everything we did here, here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description uh, below. If you want to throw some money my way, you can use the Patreon page for that. It, uh, the link to it will be at the end screen of this video. Uh, also, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, like it. Uh, and if you like the channel, maybe subscribe to it. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.